So this is my one bookshelf. Um, as you can see, there's no real organization to it, uh, which is going to make this a little bit tricky. I think how I'm going to go ahead and do the shelf tag is that the books that have wound up piled in front of other shelves, like that pile right there or that one, are going to count actually as an additional shelf. Um, so that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six shelves to choose from. Uh, so let's get started. So the first book that I rolled, I guess, is one six. So um, my books are sorted vaguely alphabetically, um, and that leads me with The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood. It's about a pair of sisters who are estranged and they have kind of an intertwined love life. And it's a, a lot about how the older sister is coping with a lot of things that happened to them as children once their mother passed. It was a really interesting read. Um, Atwood writes some really well-developed characters, which, you know, big thing for me. And it was a Man Booker Prize winner back in whenever it came out. I think this is a 2000s release. Um, yeah, 2000 exactly. Uh, I rolled 612, which is actually a galley copy of Seattle's Air by, Airs by Ellie Medeset. Um, I have a, a review of this video up, but it's essentially a story about a young boy who's like the second in line to his father's throne, and he feels really out of place in his family because his magic works in a different way than his family's magic. Um, in this world, there's magic that's like driven by being able to manipulate chaos, and magic that's that comes from being able to manipulate order. And order is seen as like the more feminine. Um, of magic and that's what he's got and so they send him out kind of where he's like not going to get into trouble or embarrass the family and it turns out that a war kind of breaks out on the border town that they sent him to and he has to deal with overcoming those fears and becoming you know those fears about being less than adequate and he has to defend his family and his homeland. I actually enjoy this. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was a very fun read. It was a little bit different than the other things that I've read. One of the biggest problems I had when I was starting, when I decided to do this video, uh, was to choose whether I was going to limit the books that I picked to just fiction, because I have a lot of philosophy and theoretical books. Um, but I, I decided to go with kind of my entire book collection. The tag is largely there to expose people to different types of books, and I think that that's one of the cool things about it. Um, and when I when I got uh, 518, I actually landed on a book called The Social Citizen by Betsy Sinclair. Um, she's a professor who I had when I was getting my MA from the University of Chicago. And it's all about social networks and the implications that those have for our, um, our political lives largely, but also our sociological lives and kind of how we interact with one another now that we have such a such a, a greater connectitude in our society. I then rolled, I just keep saying rolled, like I used a, like a die or something. I used a, a random number generator, but I got 216, uh, which is Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. This is one of his newer releases. It's been all over the place. I actually have a a signed copy, which is kind of cool. Uh, this is the paperback version that just came out this year. It's about a man who's kind of reliving his childhood memories, and it's, I, I think, a lot to do with the way that we adults perceive kind of the abnormal versus how children perceive it, and how we can kind of hide things from ourselves uh, as we get older. It's a very interesting read. It's super short. I think I read it in like a three hour sitting or something like that. Just, it, it's more of a novella than it is a novel. Um, I actually, I actually read it as 
an ebook and then somebody sent me the the paperback copy and then in keeping with kind of my what weird things does Brie read stuff um, I got 310 so my copy is just tab like all heck um, that's largely because I wrote my second senior thesis on this um, I had to write two because I was in a split program <laughs> It's all of his works on how the United States should be and, you know, his responses to the requests for the Bill of Rights. Him kind of talking about what he thinks went wrong with the Articles of Confederation. Um, I, I don't know if anybody's going to want to pick these books up. If you're at all interested in his writings or what led the U.S. to become the way it is, it's a really good place to start. I can suggest for you a couple of his, um, a couple of his writings in particular that are, are pretty short. Um, it's kind of more of a book of essays than like a collected writings. He never wrote anything too substantial in length, mostly just short responses to claims that other people had about the way that government was going. Um, I think there might actually be some Hamilton stuff stuck in here. So that's kind of a snippet of what is on my shelf. Um, a big thanks to Brock who tagged me in this. I really kind of enjoyed getting to see what a, a random snapshot of my shelves look like. Um, they're kind of about as strange as I thought they were. <laughs> um, I, I think I might do another one of these in the future and kind of try and make it a, a thing. Um, it doesn't include any of my unread books because I keep those all by my bed. So there's like a pile like the size of a five-year-old, um, <laughs> near where I sleep. I like can't roll over at night. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic reading week. I'm not sure who to tag in this one. So if you have wanted to do one of these, I would encourage you to do it. Let me know if you did one in the comments below. Um, cause I, I like, that. this is a tag that I actually, I really, really like, um, cause I think it's a little bit more candid than people sometimes imagine it to be. Uh, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.